Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jason. Um, it's snowing here in upstate New York. Uh, today's video is tricky for me. Um, I've went back and forth and kind of debated about whether I wanted to do it. Um, I've chickened out of doing it twice now. And this morning, I just decided uh, to do it. I needed to do it. Um, I'll discuss some of my concerns in a minute, um, but I have been addicted to painkillers for well over a decade. Um, my addiction started when I was about 23. I'm 36 now, so 13 years. Uh, and in that 13 year period, the longest that I've been off painkillers is 14 days. Um, 13 years is a long time. And you lose a lot. Um, my addiction started uh, due to dental issues. I began going to a free clinic and the doctor at this clinic began prescribing me Percocet. Um, and the blame for my addiction is, is all on me, you know, I'm the one who, who took them when I didn't need them, I'm the one who became addicted, I'm the one who kept going back for more. But I did have a doctor who was writing me scripts for 240 Percocet every single month for over three years, with no questions asked. Um, and without speaking to me ever about the addiction. Um, but like I said, the, the, the blame is mine. I'm the one who took them. I, I'm, I have no illusions about that. I'm just stating a fact about how many pills I was given um, for a long period of time with no questions asked. Then when that free clinic closed because doctors were writing too many scripts for people. Um, despite my anxieties, my addiction kind of superseded my anxieties about leaving my home and I began hospital hopping. Going to ERs, different ERs, to get the medication that um, I felt I needed, and still, I guess, feel I need. Um, hospitals and doctors have cracked down. The DEA, you know, has, has really forced doctors to really crack down on the amount of prescription opiates that they write. Um, but now I just buy them. And... That's where all of my money goes. Um, I've, I'm ashamed to admit that I've lied to family and loved ones and friends in order to get money to feed my addiction. But one of the main reasons that this has remained such a closely guarded secret of mine, it ties into the shame and the disappointment that you feel in yourself. And then there's a lot of fears, fears of judgment and just fears that people are going to start looking at you differently, um, that they're not going to understand the struggle and they're just going to automatically judge it. And fear about having to face, face my own shit um, it's not easy for me to face this. Facing it means it's something that I've got to fix. Um, another reason why I've kind of had hesitation about sharing this on this channel is because I'm still in the midst of this. It's, you know, I wanted this channel to be about positivity and 
our triumphs and supporting each other in our triumphs, but I also wanted it to be about honesty. And if I'm honest with myself, my biggest issue is this addiction. The addiction is bigger than anything because I put it first over everything. I just feel like by being honest here and trying to face this, it's going to force me to hold myself accountable because I've put it out there. You know, this is something that has always been a closely guarded secret of mine, um, and now it's not. So what I think I need to do is contact my doctor and fess up to him and try to start reaching out for support over this and try to figure out a game plan here because this just can't keep going. This has gone on long enough. It's gone on far too long. It's been way too long of a chapter in my life and I've been eagerly wanting to start a new chapter and my hope is that in being honest about this today that it'll just help me start this chapter um help me hold myself accountable uh and i really have two youtube channels to thank for giving me this courage um one is the rewired soul chris over at the rewired soul um his videos on addiction are something that I've been watching a lot lately. Uh, and it's a very inspiring story that gives me a lot of hope. And the other YouTube channel is Rocking Roberta. She's a fierce and amazing woman who, whose honesty and whose humanity shine through in her videos. Um, she has an excellent channel where she documents her struggles and her triumphs with addiction, um, and it's really been inspiring to me. And I'll link their channels in the description below. But, like I said, the point in this is just getting the secret out is going to force me to face it more than I've ever been willing to face it. And it's forcing me to start devising some sort of game plan and, you know, just trying to figure out how to fix this and how to get better from this and how to get on top of this and how to close this chapter of my life. So thanks for listening. Um, I would encourage anybody to face their personal demons because it's tricky, but, you know, I, I really feel like it's the only way to change anything, is to face what we're afraid of facing. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening, and now that it's out there, you know, I encourage anybody watching to, to hold me accountable, to, to, what, to doing what I say I'm going to do, you know? contact my doctor, figure out what to do about this. If it means getting out of medication to help me, then that's what it means. I just have to figure something out here. So, like I said, thanks for listening, and until next time, everybody be well.